but you're gonna wanna wiggle this wheel left and right. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of LJ's Garage. We're working on the E30 once again, and today the topic at hand is diagnosing suspension noises, which is really difficult to do if you don't know what you're listening for. And I've got one of those suspension noises, and today I'm gonna hold your hand and we're gonna walk through figuring out where exactly this rattle is coming from on the C30. And this applies to pretty much any other car. Don't feel like you have to only use this for old cars, but anyways, we're gonna jump right into it. I'm pretty positive, just from driving it, that the noise is coming from the front. Whenever the front goes over bumps, you hear noises from the front. Whenever the rear goes over, I don't really hear too much, um, so I'm pretty sure it's the front. And we're gonna start with the easiest test possible, and that's just trying to replicate the noise in your garage. It sounds difficult, but I'm telling you, it's really the easiest way, and at least you can figure out maybe which side it's coming from. So I'm gonna move this camera, and we're gonna just jump right into it, so let's do it. So technically, you could pop the hood so you could hear better, because there's a couple different key components to the suspension, and one of them is the strut tower mount, which is right here under the hood. So before we even get to that part, I've gotta figure out which side of the car I wanna jack up. So what I'm gonna do is just shake the car and see if we can get that noise to replicate. Normal noises so far, so let's try this side. Not bad. So let me try this side one more time. I got a little bit more noise over here, so. Eh, hard to tell, so let's pop the hood. So with the hood popped, I wanna show you guys, this is where the strut tower mount is. So right here, this is where your shock absorbers and everything like that mount to. And so a lot of times, this is actually the source of the noise, but those usually last a really long time, but you unfortunately have to pull everything out of the suspension in order to get to that. So let's go ahead and I'll set you guys up on this tripod and we'll shake it and see if we can kind of hear anything. Got a little squeaking. A little squeaking, let's try the other side. side either. So unfortunately I wasn't able to replicate the same noise that I heard while driving but one thing that this does do is it allows you to see kind of how much your suspension is traveling, how much balance you have. Um, there's a lot of things you could test just by rocking the car, bouncing on it, shaking it, all of those good things. So the next step that we have to do is we're gonna actually lift the car up in the air. I'm gonna do both sides and we're gonna go ahead and get this up on jack stands and we'll roll right into the next set of tests that we need to do for this suspension. Something else to keep in mind is you wanna listen while you're turning the wheel, while the wheel is straight, low speed, high speed. So when you're driving the car to diagnose the suspension issues, you wanna make sure that you're really listening and paying full attention to every variable that can you know, affect the noise. It makes it really easy when you can tell the mechanic this happens five miles an hour when I'm turning the wheel left, right, etc. All right, so from here, a couple things. Be kind of careful because the car is on jack stands but you're gonna to wanna to wiggle this wheel left and right and see if you hear any play, which I got a little bit in here, a little bit, and then you're gonna to wanna to do top down, no play, so. It's safe to say that something's definitely going on with the sway bar or the tie rods, inner or outer. All right, so this is what we're looking at for our suspension. There's a couple components here. I'm gonna put up a nice little diagram I found and kind of point out where things are as I go. So the first thing you're gonna see right here in this middle part is gonna be your stabilizer link. And the stabilizer link is attached to this control arm right here, your lower control arm to be specific. And then over here, then right here is gonna be your control arm ball joint. This tends to go bad from time to time. Then behind that, you see this bar right here is gonna be your stabilizer bar. And then right up in front is gonna be your tie rod. So that goes to this boot right here. These will sometimes leak and all those sorts of things. Of course, you're gonna have your strut, which is this guy going up there. 
Then up at the top is gonna be your springs. And then at the very top of that is where those shock mounts are. But yeah, this is pretty much how everything looks under here. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys down and we're gonna listen to see if we can figure out where this is coming from. All right guys, let me know if anything's moving where it shouldn't be. You guys can kind of hear that a little bit there. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So left, right, left, right. Little bit of noise. Up, down, up, down, nothing. So left, right, left, right. Seems to give us a little clickety clackety. I'm gonna give you guys a closer listen. Just in case you guys couldn't hear it, here's a better angle. You can see how much play this wheel has in it. That's not good. This wheel has some issues. All right, hopefully you guys can see. Let me know if anything's moving. I think that's the source of my noise right there. It sucks having only a one and a half car garage. Somebody's gonna have a car If you've got some extra wood laying around, what you could do is you can make kind of like a pump. So where you put the wood under there and you press down. So you essentially are just kind of bouncing this wheel up, up and down with just your foot. So you kind of put a little pry bar under there. And that will allow you to check your mounts as well from up here. But these, you just wanna check for damage. You want to make sure that this isn't bouncing around too much. Um, I mean, really just make sure everything is nice and tight. So now I'm at the point where I'm just going to do a visual inspection. So I'm looking at these bushings and making sure that everything looks good. And what you could do is you could take a flathead screwdriver and kind of just wedge it in between these. You want to just check all these bolts, make sure they're nice and tight. But really, all you're doing right now is just seeing where you can find that might be loose or wiggling. There's a lot of components under here. So you might not exactly figure out where your noise is coming from, but like I said, you want to take like a flathead and you're just going to jimmy it between these things. You're just going to try to move things and see what makes noise. Like even this bushing right there is starting to look like it's getting a little past its days. But my stabilizer links look good. The other thing you're going to do is just check your springs, make sure you got no rattles, make sure nothing's moving, give it a little push, you know but I'm pretty sure those ball joints are toast. You can kind of see that right at the top, that bushing is a little eaten up. It's got a tear in there. These are just some quick tricks that you can use to diagnose the noise coming from your suspension. So hopefully this helped and gave you some tools to utilize. But for me, I'm pretty sure that it's gonna be my inner and outer tie rods and possibly my ball joints. Could be just the tie rods, but my ball joints also look like they've seen better days. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you learned something.